Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to um, another week in my life vlog. This week, um, I'm going to be a little bit more... I don't want to say structured. I feel like this is just going to be like a really healthy, good, routine, productive week. I've definitely been way more relaxed the past probably like month at least quarantine since I don't know two months. I feel like I've just been a lot more relaxed, which has been great. But I need to go back to like having a little bit more structure and um, like being more productive and stuff. It's been fun, but like I need to do some stuff, you know? With that being said, I think that um, being more chill has been very good for me, I will say. So I'm kind of just like going at it, like making new routines, just kind of like my new way of life that um, I have learned recently. So anyways, first things first is I need my fitness on track. I have so many fitness ones. I really like the one that I was doing from Jane Simmons. Um, I'll have her link her Instagram down below, but she will make like personalized workout plans for you if you guys want to do that. It was awesome. This week I want to try um the Chloe Ting Shredder Summer Shredder Challenge. Um, Danielle tweeted about it, and then I saw like a lot of people in the Facebook group were talking about it. It's kind of been everywhere. I don't know where I've been living under a rock. And I'm used to working out like really hard every single day, and I've not been doing that. I've been so off my fitness thing for the first time in like almost like a year and a half, and I just need to get back like. I can feel it in my body. I'm more tired all the time. Like, it's almost 8 now. I wanted to wake up at 7. It's, like, impossible for me to wake up at 7 right now, guys. Like, and I'm an early riser. Like, it is so hard for me to wake up. Um, obviously, I've been cooking a lot of pasta. So, like, that doesn't help. I haven't been eating, like, really healthy either. Um, so, anyways. I just overall don't feel my best. So, I want to get back to, like, working out. So, that's happening and then also i mentioned this in my last vlog but my cousin Alyssa and i Alyssa's in like all the vlogs i basically like with my family all the time um but she mentioned that we should become runners and start running together i'm really like i'm really like fit and in shape and like i want to go work out all the time and like i'm really like potties all that stuff 100 percent. and like i can do like spin no problem like that's actually pretty easy to me but running is like I, I just hate running. I've never liked it. I've never been a runner and I'm really jealous of people who just go out and run three miles Like I cannot do that. So we're doing the couch to 5k app. This is not sponsored um, I asked in the Facebook group and all of you guys are telling me that that's a great app to use So we're starting this week. We're supposed to start today. She can't start today. So I'm starting today um, And I'm gonna do that plan. So in two months, we'll be running three miles a day I also think it's really important to do things that you don't like doing and I think at the end of this I'll end up loving running hopefully we'll see we will see but I think it's really important to do things you don't like doing and right now I'm not doing anything so I'm putting perfume on to like work out and then shower after I also filled up my Google calendar and stuff for today I'm getting my hair done by my sister at my house she's a hairstylist we're gonna go um hopefully you guys enjoy this week of my life subscribe if you guys are new here comment down below how you guys found my YouTube channel I would love to know that. Or like, what was your first video you saw or whatever? You guys should do that. Okay, guys. So I'm ready to go on my run. I'm listening to Ed Milet's podcast with Gary V. Oh, but look, she just wants to go. All right, guys. So obviously I didn't take her on the run. I was hopeful. Like, I don't know what I was thinking for one second. Um, I just took her on a little walk around the block and then I did my run. So it was honestly like really easy. Um, I was just out there for 25 minutes, but I'm really excited because I think this is gonna be good for me. Anyways, I'm gonna do Chloe Ting's um, summer shredder thing. It's like a 28 day thing. I just need something to kind of like kick me into shape. So I think this is gonna be really good. Um, I need my mat. I, I can't wait because my I think my garage floors are getting done this week. So that just means that my gym is that much closer to being done. Okay, so it's the four week summer shred challenge so day one there's 28 days today i'm doing i'll show you the warm-up routine it's only 22 minutes total full body shred shredded abs back and arm and then the cool down stretch all right guys i finished the workout um i am like dead it's definitely really hard it's not like something that i like i don't love those kinds of i don't like like a hit youtube workout that much i would just much rather do like pilates or something like really a really hard pilates class or like Melissa Wood Health. Melissa Wood Health is my all-time best 
at home workouts, but just for right now, I feel like I need to kind of shock my body. Um, ignore the fan, as always. I really try to just get it out of the shot for you guys. Um, that's laundry I need to put away that I was having drive. But I got ready really quickly. I showered, I just pulled my hair back because I'm getting it done today. Um, these sweats are misguided. I thrifted this shirt a few years ago from Buffalo Exchange and it's like one of my favorite shirts ever. I love it. And then I'm wearing some slippers from Amazon. I'll see if I can link them below because they're only like $20. I just did the quickest little no makeup makeup look that took legit two seconds. I do an IGTV video on it. I've been so active on IGTV with the cooking with Kinsey's and all that stuff. Oh, Coco's face is getting matted. Girl, we gotta fix that. I'm gonna have to make her a groomer appointment this week. Here she is, guys. Ooh, ooh, girl. Could be looking better, girl. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you guys should. But I'm gonna go downstairs and make some breakfast, and then I'm going to just chill out. Um, and then I'm going to do my morning Devo, which is my favorite time of the day. Okay, girl, you seriously gotta chill. Oh my gosh, she's so sad she didn't go on the run this morning, but she can't run, so. She will run if I take her to the lake house for like hours on end, but if I take her on a leash to run, there's just no way this girl's gonna do it. All right, guys, so for breakfast, I just made this little granola bowl. If you guys didn't see my last vlog, I made this menu on my GoodNotes app of what I'm eating this week. Honestly, it was mainly just for grocery shopping, so I wouldn't like overspend and buy a bunch of other things, and so I can try new things. I mean, this is like pretty um, like self-explanatory. I just made a little um, granola yogurt bowl, which looks so good, but I wanted to give an update on my iced coffee. So. I love Chameleon Cold Brew. It's my favorite, but not this one. Not in the glass bottle. I like the plastic one better. Uh, this is just a lot more. And I get the green kind. I get the black coffee normal. So, anyways, it's really just a lot. Like, it's super, I don't know, the other one just tastes better. The other one is the best cold brew I've ever had from home. It's so good. It's so, it just tastes amazing. And it also, you are so productive when you drink it. But there's just something about this one that just doesn't work for me. So I'm going to try to do a lot more almond milk and just see how what I can do. Because this is all I have left. And this whole thing was like $10. So I definitely want to drink it. Normally I'll fill it up like pretty high. But like way more than this normally. But I feel like that's as much as I can do. I don't really like a ton of milk in my coffee either as we know. But, like, it's going to have to be 50-50 at this point because it's just a lot. Hopefully this is good. Also, random, but comment down below, guys. Do you prefer vlogs with cute little montage intros or just getting straight into it? Okay, I'm putting this away now. I also have been really just trying to drink an entire glass of water before I even drink coffee. Finally finished editing my Weekend of My Life vlog. I've been doing a bunch of computer work. It's now almost 1 p.m. I'm going to do some more computer work. And some homework. My sister's coming in a few hours. I'm actually gonna make some kale salad soon too. I'm making my kale salad. It is, I'm really am not like a big salad maker. So that's my next thing I'm mastering. I just massage kale. Um, and then I was thinking about how Honor Bar does it because I know how their kale is so good. They use peanut oil. Anyways, the soup potatoes are roasting. Got some other stuff. Unfortunately, the salad dressing that I wanted did not arrive. And I forgot about that until literally just now. All right, I made my salad. I haven't mixed it together or anything yet, which I need to do. But it actually looks really, really good. It was pretty quick and easy. My sister's coming over. Oh, I made some homemade salad dressing too. And then that's for her, but she can mix it up and stuff whenever she gets here. But this looks really good. All right, guys. My sister is coming later than I thought. So I'm going to go ahead and record my solo episode. The past few hours, I've just been working on my laptop and I feel like when I vlog my work day, it's so boring. Um, I really just need to finish this office because this office is not inspiring me, even though I really like it. Um, so I just need to fix it, like maybe drapes. I need to figure out what I can put back here. I don't really want anything to like, I hate the clutter, so I, I don't know. I don't know what I want on that wall. Ideally, I would have had a huge Dolly Parton print, but they didn't have that size so all right guys it's 4 30 i finished recording my episode um i finished everything on my to-do list my sister just got here it's helping her film some stuff for instagram so she's in my office she's probably gonna be filming for the next like hour and a half i'm assuming and then she's doing my hair and we're gonna film a video for my channel so i might just read i think that's what i'm gonna do my hair actually is giving me a headache it's like pulled back so tight right now also her dog is here Kobe. oh there's a bathroom right by the office. You can just use that one if you want. I don't even know that. 
No one knows about this bathroom that you guys literally pass all the time. Coco. Oh, Kobe, hi, how you doing? Oh, okay. The jazz playlist is on, which means I'm about to cook dinner, which I'm really just heating up stuff today. But I have this beautiful, oh my gosh, okay, salad bowl that I got in that came in a little bit late, but I didn't have a salad bowl and I really needed one. I got this on Amazon. It was pretty inexpensive and it'll do the job. Just heating up the last of my leftover bolognese. So she left and we did my hair. Um, it looks so much better. Like, oh my gosh, a full video has already gone live, but she forgot her like gel to not stain my forehead. So my forehead is actually gonna look like this for at least a week, which is like truly, truly tragic. Um, but I like it so much better dark, oh my gosh. Morning everyone, it's a very gloomy morning. Oh my gosh, oh, well, there you go. I put way too much milk in. Anyways, it's a very gloomy morning out. Um, it was raining, so I didn't, I mean, it's Tuesday. I wouldn't normally go on a run. I was just kind of planning on it. I'm letting myself just like chill and relax this morning. Here's the towel that I was supposed to be drying. Um, just because I love gloomy weather. Okay, so anyways, it's a gloomy morning, which you guys know I love. So um, I couldn't like run or anything because it was raining. I think it's actually raining all this week, which is really unfortunate. Guys, this is just like my dream morning. It's just rained, it's gloomy outside, and I'm reading my Devo, my favorite devotion, and drinking coffee. It's just so cozy in my house today. Like, I can't be my crazy productive self when I just have to be cozy in this gloomy weather. Guys, first off, I'm still on my t-shirt, but like literally, look at my head right now. Like, I can't wear my hair up for quite some time. I'm gonna have to be exfoliating this like crazy. We just like literally cannot um, be looking at my forehead for the rest of this vlog, so I'm so sorry. I think I'm actually gonna try to work out in my room because I don't really like working out in like my living space for some reason. Um, I will have my gym downstairs like very soon, but I'm gonna do the challenge that I was doing before. I'm not absolutely obsessed with it. I think I will probably end up just going back to Muslim health. I don't know, guys. Guys, I'm ordering Keaton an edible arrangement. She loves edible arrangements more than like anyone in this world. Also, I love edible arrangements because she sends them to me and they're incredible, but Anyway, she graduates. Actually, today would have been her graduation, I think. So I'm gonna have this delivered. I texted Brandon and he gave me the address and I told him it has to be a secret. Okay, I just finished day two of Chloe Ting's, what is it, the Summer Shred Challenge. It's really hard. I think the reason I don't like like YouTube like hit videos necessarily as much is because I can't pick the music and I always hate the music they play. But I do like the workouts and I actually do feel really good. I think that um, when I do my den and stuff, I'm gonna start playing this on the projector, but muting it, cause you can see the sounds and then like blasting my own music. Anyways, I'm gonna shower and get ready for the day. It's like already 11. I've really taken my sweet old time, which I didn't have that time today. Posted an Instagram, so cute. Guys, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, I feel like my Instagram is really great right now. All right, I just showered and I scrubbed my forehead. I know obviously it's still there, but I feel like I definitely made progress. Anyways, I'm wearing my favorite set from Shop Porsche Quan, I want to say. Um, I'll have it down below. But actually, if you guys go on my Instagram, I always tag her. But I'm just like literally obsessed with this set and I want 15 other colors. I have a lot of editing to do and recording to do today. So I'm going to go downstairs and get started. I'm glad I already worked out, but I'm going to go downstairs and get started on the editing. I normally have a few days at least or a week to edit a video. This video, it goes up tomorrow and I have so much editing. So I'm going to have to go do all that and then I'm going to re-actually record my solo episode because I think I can just do better. Fun fact, every time I record a solo episode, I honestly record it like two or three times at least. I don't know why, but I feel like this time I'm really going to get it. So for the next few hours, this is my setup. I'm going to edit until this video is done, it's currently 11.30. I am absolutely shocked, but also thrilled because I just edited this video in like less than an hour and a half and we had like an hour and a half of footage and uh, honestly, like, I don't know. I know people are probably gonna say I'm like rude in this video because I'm really sarcastic, but that's just how we are with each other. 
Um, especially like I was just in one of these moons where I just like thought that everyone was at my like stand-up comedy act. So it's 1:15. I made the salad that I made yesterday. It was actually so good, especially when the sweet potato is warm. Oh my gosh! I'm watching Brooks vlog. We are just under two hours in, and I've actually already edited this video, guys. That is so great because I really thought it was gonna take me like four or five hours. So. I'm gonna eat some lunch, upload, pre-upload for tomorrow, and finish Brooke's vlog probably, and then I'm gonna go record. I just got this in the mail. I've seen it all over Instagram, and then finally I purchased it because TK was like, oh my gosh, no, you have to get this. It is the Lux Unfiltered Hydrating Self-Tanning Cream, which is Savon Ayla's line. Um, apparently it is like the best self-tanner. I believe it's gradual. Um, and it just is like really actually moisturizing and just the best thing ever. So I'm really really excited to use this guys I'm so excited. I purchased a pair of all white docks because I was honestly I still might get like high top Air Force ones But I also was like this kind of gives me the same vibe But I will still probably get them because you guys know me in white shoes, but I just think that they're so cute I really wanted the velcro ones that were popular like two years ago, but they are so I mean, they're not even so hard to find. They're legit impossible to find. I've been trying to find them for the past two years online, and it's impossible. Like, I mean, they just don't make them anymore, so it's hard to find them. But anyways, I settled for the normal classics. I think they're so cute. I'll have them linked down below, though. I just am obsessed. Anyways, I just made myself some green tea. I've actually been pretty productive today. I feel really good about all the work that I've gotten done so far. I'm gonna go upstairs, I'm gonna re-record my solo episode, and then I'm also going to do ads and intros for this week's episode, which I'm really excited for. The solo is just gonna be like a bonus, but. I'm actually gonna try recording in my room. I know that I like have an office and I just do everything everywhere else. You know what, whatever, let me live. Um, but I recorded one time as a guest on my bed with TK and I actually liked it so much more just for the vibe of this episode because it's way more chill so it is almost 5 p.m. I have been recording for the past like two-ish hours I recorded intros ads and then a solo episode and my thing died in the middle of it so I had to get new batteries um, I'm about to send off this episode to my producer and then I can go downstairs to my favorite part of my day well I don't know if my favorite part of my day no okay I have two favorite parts of my day. Three, I love my morning Devo. Two, I love when I go to bed and I read for four hours. Three, um, it would be when I cook. And then I like have all the music and the candles lit and it's just like the most incredible feeling ever, like literally ever. So anyways, I am now, literally this episode guys is called my breadwinning housewife vibe, something like that, I don't know. I, you know, we'll work out the kinks later. But I am just sending this stuff off. I have like a certain way that we send this stuff off now um, that I'm recording remotely. Guys, LA just said they're extending quarantine for three months. Like, oh my gosh. I just wanna say like, I shared this in my podcast intro this week, but like whenever I knew that I needed to leave and like in December I was like I know I'm not supposed to do like another semester which I was already down with my program but I was like I know I don't need to do another semester and like I'm just doing it to be comfortable and like I knew I was supposed to leave right and like not everyone I mean pretty much everyone in my life was like no you need to go but not that anyone was like, against me leaving but there was like obviously like a director who was like um you should you'd be better off like staying another semester or whatever thank god I didn't guys because then once I did that blessing follows obedience I was obedient because I knew I wasn't supposed to do that and then I it was a really really hard decision for me to make and I know it sounds stupid but like it was a safety net for me so it was a really hard for decision for me to make and I did it and then I found this place so quickly I was not planning on moving that quick all that kind of happened and I was almost like oh my gosh this is happening really quickly like is this okay whatever and I was obviously like praying about it and then I felt like a lot of peace I was like okay I'm just gonna do it like this is all working out like they've accepted our offer all the stuff um, and I moved thank God that I did and like now I've been able to be in this house by myself and like work on it and have like the best Quarantine that like I could possibly have because I could have been stuck in LA and my house that I really hated and Being dealing with all of that stuff And then I was originally gonna move in June and like they're not even out of quarantine right now until out of August Like it would have been I would have either been stuck in LA by myself or I mean I honestly know I would have ended up coming to Texas and staying with my parents which would have been like a lot to deal with so anyways i just want to say i feel very grateful and now it's one of those things and i'm like i totally understand everything happens for a reason and i totally understand why it worked out this way so i'm really grateful but anyways i'm sending this stuff over right now 
and I'm about to go downstairs on the menu for tonight is um, chicken tortilla soup. So I'm very excited. It's my first time making it. Guys, also very, very exciting. My Christmas again cookbook came in today. Cravings. That's such a cute photo. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, well, this is going to my cookbook collection. I feel awkward putting them next to each other, but it's okay. Guys, I've actually decided that I'm gonna watch Nashville as I cook. I have about an hour until my call and then Bible study. All right, I'm just gonna make some tortilla soup. This is really easy. This one is from The Modern Proper and it's just like a five um, ingredient soup. It's just a five ingredient soup. I might actually throw in some onions, but yeah, it's like really, really easy. You basically put everything into the pot and then once it boils, you just let it simmer for 30 minutes. No, nothing's really completely open. Okay, so then I'm just like, then we're not, I don't- I just like scrubbed my face. So I probably look like absolutely insane okay so i'm excited because i am going to use the self tanner for the first time ever i've only heard incredible things i posted on my instagram story and people went crazy so i'm gonna put this on my body apparently it's like gradual um maddie said if you use it like three days in a row then you have like a really good tan i use the isle of paradise drops and then I put them in the Summer Fridays CC Me Serum. My mom is like obsessed with this combination. She like swears by it. But anyways, um, that's what I'm going to do. Updates to come, people. We just finished the Bible study. It was like literally incredible. I love hearing from you guys. Like I like actually like it's gotten to the point where like a lot of us are like returning. Um, so it's like we know like names of people and like I feel like I kind of know their story a little bit. It's just cool. Like I feel like I've made a lot of friends. Um, which I loved, so. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna do the rest of my body and then I'll let you guys know what I thought. All right, update. So as far as the actual application went, it was really, really easy. Um, hopefully, I guess I can't really say anything until I see what it looks like, but this is gradual. It didn't smell, it dries super quick, it's not sticky, like, I'm actually really impressed already. I mean, I'm not tan yet, but I'm very impressed. Okay, so it is 8.30. I'm gonna read for the next few hours, and then I have to wake up at seven to go on a run with Alyssa, which I'm really excited for. Good morning, everyone. Um, okay, I need to make some water. Make some water. Yeah, let me just get my cut. First off, I have a few things to say. The soup I made last night was incredible. Like, oh my gosh, it's so good. I have so much in my fridge which I am like so ready to try the new recipe, so I kind of wish that I did it, but you know, it is what it is. I have this much tortilla soup. Also, soup is the legit easiest thing to make ever. So, okay, it is currently 7.20. Alyssa is coming over. I might even have like yogurt and granola. I need a good like pre-run snack. Guys, I'm getting black handles on all these and then a new fridge and this kitchen's going to like a different place. Um, also, I'm Tam. It was really easy to use. I didn't explain it before because I like never do. I really should have because like, it is like very even except for like, I mean right there, but that's because I washed my hands like that and I knew that would happen. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm still really impressed because I didn't exfoliate and try that hard and also this was just like one use, so I really liked it. Um, I'll have it linked below. Even with the streaks though, it is like 10 times better than other things that I've used. It's so good. Really quickly, I'm making my favorite yogurt and then I've just been throwing in, I mean normally I'll put blueberries or strawberries in, but... I'm out right now, so I have the Purely Elizabeth um, granola. A little bit of granola. This granola is like really, really good. Um, and then I'll just put some honey in. This is nothing new to you guys. Bowl that I've been making the past few days, which by the way has been incredible. Um, but this is what we're going to do right now because it's the only thing I have that's like fast. All right, Alyssa has arrived. My whole running experience and journey will be documented on a story highlight. So I'm not going to keep my vlog camera with me. Um, but it's really something so all right. I'm back from running It was actually harder today than it was Monday for some reason Um, anyways, I'm gonna go do my like workout plan that I've been doing Taking a break before I go do my second workout, but you guys send me so many things of golden doodles and it's so freaking cute <laughs> Guys she is a mess like her harness is messed up. This is what happens when Coco wakes up girl We're gonna call the groomer today and see when we can get you in <laughs> Oh, you really need it. You're probably gonna be shaved after, but it's gonna be okay. All right, so for day three, I ended up just doing upper body arms and then toned arms. I didn't do the full body shred. Honestly, at this point, I really could do it. Like, I actually feel fine, but I just really don't feel like it. I need to get on with my day because I need to get some stuff sent in literally by nine, so I have seven minutes. But, um, 
Today we have a day off, so I think I'm just gonna do the full body shred then, but the full body shred is like in a lot of them I've noticed. Work off for the day is done, feeling great, I need to shower. Um, I'm actually gonna reapply the Savon A Latana because that's what Maddie said to do. Look at my outfit today. First off, I threw this on because it's white and I know this is stupid because it really could stain, but everyone says it doesn't get, I put, I reapplied the Lux Unfiltered. Everyone says it doesn't get, um, like on your white clothes, which is my biggest problem with self tanner. And when you're tan, you want to wear white. So it's like a really big thing. So anyways, this is what I got from Aerie and I'm actually going to wear it like as a dress with my docs, my new white docs I just got, but I'm wearing it today. Um, it's really cozy. I think I actually bought more. My airy package with like 10 other things that I bought was supposed to arrive today. It was supposed to arrive last week and now today and then they emailed me that it's coming tomorrow. So it's been really annoying, but I totally get the whole like shipping thing. I just ordered it like weeks ago. So I like keep thinking about it, you know? Um, but honestly, I want like more of these because I feel like I'll just live in them in the summer because I don't really like a solid like t-shirt dress necessarily. Like it's not really my vibe, but this is like actually, I like it. It's pretty cool and I can wear shorts under it. And it's like my dress and I'm into it. So anyways, then I just put on my Uggs in some sweats and I slightly, slightly got ready. But I'm going to go downstairs, do my Devo, make some breakfast, some coffee, and then get on with the day. Beautiful breakfast, beautiful coffee. I'm playing some worship. I'm about to go do my Devo. A fun fact about me, I actually like love gloomy weather more than anything. It's just my favorite thing ever. Like I'm not a big fan of the sun. Very weird, I know. I've kind of grown to like the sun a little bit better since I have my rooftop now and that means that's when I can like go out and use it. But other than that, like I just love gloomy days at home. So I'm really thriving right now. Into this week, being like I'm gonna work in my office, I'm gonna do all these things and all I wanna do is like get cozy on the couch and get my laptop and work from there just because it's so cozy right now. Oh my gosh. Also, because it's so cozy, I decided that I needed a hot coffee, and that's just what is happening. Also, I've been getting a lot of questions again about these mugs. They're from William Sonoma. Um, they're on sale quite often. Again, if you guys go to my Like to Know profile, which you guys seriously just need to download the freaking app. It's the best thing ever. You will be obsessed. Um, I link like legit everything I own there, but um, I link these mugs a lot and a bunch of stuff. So I think you guys would really actually enjoy it. And I have questions like, do they crack? Do they break? No, I, I have four of them and I use them like legit every single day, sometimes twice a day. And nothing bad, cannot say enough good things about them. It keeps it warm. I think that they're just the cutest mugs ever. All right guys, my perfect gloomy morning, it's 10. Um, I just, I know these are dead and like they've really run their course. But I just love having flowers here, so I really want them. Um, oh my gosh, my little brother talked to me. Okay, anyways, I'm going to do my Devo. All right, good morning, everyone. I wanted to go through my devotion this morning. I loved when I did this on my Sunday vlog, and this is my favorite devotional ever. I've already gone through it before, so I feel very confident when I say that. But it's the Draw the Circle by Mark Patterson. I'll have it linked down below. A lot of you guys have been tagging me in your Instagram stories with it, but like... Genuinely, it, there's no devotion that beats this one. I promise you. Think of it almost too as like a 40 day like prayer challenge type thing, but it's really cool. It's a little bit longer than the standard Devo, which is like normally like half a page to a page, but it also ties in like history and all these things. And like a lot of the stories actually come together and it's just really cool throughout the story. So anyways, I wanted to share a few things from it. I'm so tired. I need to drink this guys. Okay, so the chapter is so a seed. Or I guess the day. So the verse is Matthew 17, 20. If you have faith as small as a mustard seed. I'm going to go through my notes because it's not as long. Okay, so he's talking about Yosemite and then sequoias. And he said something along the lines. I didn't take notes on this. But they can measure more than 20 feet wide and 300 feet tall. The root system goes down about 12 feet and stretches out in an area of about 80 feet in diameter. So like obviously they're huge. And so the actual sequoia seed is no bigger than a seed that produces a tomato plant. So it's basically saying like that is the power of a single seed seed and then one sequoia once it matures it produces 400,000 yeah 400,000 seeds of its own every year which is crazy so the point is like the potential from like such a small seed and it's like in every seed there isn't just a tree there's a forest of trees and I think again this goes from like small thinking to big thinking which I talk about a lot on my podcast but it's like you know small thinking is insecure and it's like there's not enough room for everyone like I have to get mine um 
like I have to do this like I can't rely on God for anything it's typically like out of insecurity and like big thinking is like there's enough success for everyone and like I want to also bring people on the journey and like bring people up with me and I want like people in my life to do better than I do in every seed there isn't just this tree there's a forest of trees which I think is really cool because like even if you compare this in like a career type thing it's like in every single person that succeeds it's like they're either like opening doors or like paving the way for so many other people in the future so jesus talked about faith in comparison to a mustard seed which is like the smallest possible seed there is and they were just talking about how some plants like dreams can take a lot longer so some take a lot longer to plant um, and to grow once you plant them. The potential is disguised in an awfully small package. Like you look at these seeds and you don't see anything and then like you plant them, you wait. They kind of go away for a second and then they come up as like a watermelon or whatever that might be. Also something I didn't know, so the mustard seed has all the nutrients that you need to survive. What did I get on this? It's yellow. That's not the tanner because it's like yellow. I legit have no idea what this is. This is why I can't have nice things. And then it's like, we're not just planting trees for us, but for generations. So we might not see the harvest, but our children's children will. So I think that we're walking in days that like people before us have prayed for and like generations before us have like interceded and all that for. I can't guys, I've been, I'm so sorry. I've been trying to yawn for days and I cannot get this yawn out. So you can only imagine how hard it is to like run without being able to like fully breathe. So then there's this revelation of like praying is planting. So it disappears for a season, but eventually it bears fruit that blesses future generations, which actually reminded me of Isaiah. I wanted to share this too. Um, so Isaiah 55, we shared this in our latest um, Bible study last night. This is a reading for our book. I'll share a little bit about who Isaiah is because I think this is important. Isaiah is a very like, Isaiah is obviously, Isaiah is a really popular chapter in the Bible, but also I think that Isaiah, like when you know who Isaiah is, it's almost even more relatable. So from, this is Isaiah. A smart, well-born, and well-connected Isaiah had every reason to look forward to a promising career as a landowner or a politician. But an experience at around age 18 of the blazing holy of God changed his course. For more than 40 years, he was God's ambassador to the royal court, enraging craving kings and guiding a halfway decent one. Essentially, like he got saved in his entire life chain. But specifically, Isaiah 55, 8 through 11, um, I'm going to kind of like skip through the middle of it. But it says, I don't think the way you think, the way you work isn't the way I work. God decree. For as the sky soars high above earth, so the way I work surpasses the way you work, and the way I think is beyond the way you think. Just as rain and snow descend from the skies and don't go back until they've watered the earth, doing their work of making things grow and blossom, producing seed for farmers and food for the hungry. So will the words that come out of my mouth not come back empty handed. They'll do the work I sent them to do. They'll complete the assignment I gave them. So I think about that and like when you feel like God's spoken to you, and then like the complete opposite happens and you're like i'm so confused this doesn't even make sense it's almost like like sometimes things like have to disappear for a season in order to actually like grow and sprout or whatever that might be so it's like when you're planting it disappears for a season but eventually it bears fruit that blesses future generations so it says we need the patience of the planter the foresight of the farmer and the mindset of the sower the harvest of the blessing will come in god's time and god's way so that was my devo for this morning um i cannot recommend this specific book enough like seriously it is just literally the best thing also i just got the shinola like right before for quarantine and I have like three pages left. I have a new one coming, but hopefully it gets here in time. Hope that encouraged you guys this morning. This book has like literally changed my life. Like, I mean, every time I read it, it changed my life, but I think I'm just gonna commit to reading this book again and again and again until I die. Like that's how strongly I feel about it. So anyways, I'm gonna finish where I do a little bit more reading in my Bible and then I'm going to go do schoolwork, which I don't wanna do. All right guys, so I have been doing a lot of computer work. I did a lot of podcasts, like the back end stuff. I did a lot of like the back end stuff. I did some homework, all of that. A follower DM'd me that today was her 21st birthday um, about like last week. And she's like, it would mean so much if you like could do a Zoom call with me. And I was like, oh my gosh, 100%. So we're doing that at one, which I'm really excited for. I have just gotten so much done and I just feel so lucky to have the job that I have. Oh my gosh, I just love my life, seriously. At the same time though, I don't know why I'm even saying this, it feels like, sometimes I just feel like I'm not doing enough, especially during quarantine right now. I think like, not even especially during quarantine, I think honestly just like in general, sometimes I'm just like, there's always something more, there's always something else that I could be doing. Even like project wise, like I don't even mean like nest like day to day stuff. I just mean like big project wise. And like I do have something I really want to do, but I keep put and I know I'm supposed to do it, but I keep putting it off. So today I'm gonna start. 
um, just a little bit and just see what I can get done. But it's so gloomy out. All I want to do is read on my Kindle. It's just like so ridiculous. <laughs> Actually, I think, I feel like watching one of Julia's vlogs. So I might um, put on a vlog and finish up some like back end stuff. I don't have the Zoom call for like another 40 minutes. All right, guys. So here's my tortilla soup. I just heated it up. I have so freaking much. Um, but I'm like really worried about eating this when I'm wearing this. So wait, did I get something there? Or is that a shadow? Wait. I think it's a speck. Oh no. Guys, uh, this is why I can't wear white. I have my lunch. I'm watching Julia's vlog. I have this call oh. in eight minutes. Wow, that was so loud. This soup is so freaking good. I'm not going to make an IGTV video of it. Oh, by the way, I just posted the bolognese one, so that one's live on my Instagram, at Kinsey Elizabeth, but I'm not going to post um, one of this, I don't think, because it's literally five ingredients. I mean, six because I added onion, and you just put them all in a pot for 30 minutes what get away from my food um so like there's really not much to film guys okay i ended up buying a bunch of four sigmatic stuff because we were talking about it and i was like i wanted to try it for forever so i made an order and then i was like oh my gosh i don't have my milk froth my milk frother here so then i was looking at milk froth frothers oh my gosh guys harder than it sounds and then i found this espresso and espresso machine listen my espresso machine is in la it is so beautiful guys and like i do not need to be spending that on it but it is a hundred dollars off and like this is something i would use all the time i don't know what has happened to me it's like two something now and i'm so tired like i'm just so freaking tired i'm gonna go upstairs read write um work on some like work stuff yeah it's gonna be like a really chill afternoon i think i'm just so tired good morning guys me again i really truly look like a mom with this hat on i feel like it looks interesting i have a haul for you to do for you guys later today good morning everyone today is thursday there's a new episode of my podcast with sarah bell it's super fun also we actually talk about having like multiple streams of income it's really chill and laid back it's not like an episode where it's like this is my journey wake up at five or anything like that but we do talk about having multiple streams of income which is convenient because we recorded this like two months ago and a lot of you guys have been asking about that lately so i was like perfect honestly yesterday i was just so tired and i think i just needed to chill like i don't know what's happening so i basically laid in bed for the rest of the day um i got a lot of work done and then i ended up finishing the book the therapist book i was reading these are all on my instagram and then i started um danielle from we wore what's book it's actually really good i'm almost halfway through just because normally those reads are like only like 200 250 pages so it's like pretty quick to read um so i'll probably finish that today but it was, it's also like I have to say, as far as, like, a quote-unquote, like, influencer book, and I hate to, like, say, I hate to call it that, but, um, it's really good. So, anyways, I'm about to take Coco on a walk. Today is my day off from working out, supposedly, but I said I wanted to do the shred, and I still want to do it, so I think I'm going to do, like, one workout, and then just, like, fast walk or something. Oh my gosh, I also ordered a, like, 40-ounce Smoothie King smoothie last night, the, what is it, Angel, whatever so good if you guys want to use my doordash thing you guys get seven dollars credit which goes towards like food as well so i'll link it down below but yeah day four is supposed to be a rest day okay so i'm gonna listen to a podcast take coco on a walk and then i'm gonna come down i still haven't decided if i'm working out or not so ignore my hand the reason my hand is like this in this one like did i somehow forget to wash my hands after i did this i think it's from the aisle of paradise stuff that i use on my face because that one stains my hands a lot but like i'm so over myself anyways um, so my stepdad is coming over in a few hours. He's going to help, or actually he's not going to help. He's going to seal my garage floor. So we're starting on the den, which is very exciting. I've gotten a few things as well for it. So I'm very pumped. And this time I am going to make a TikTok before and after. I'm not going to hate myself. <sighs> okay, so I did a little bit of a hit workout. It was pretty short. I'm glad I did it. I need to quickly clean. I'm going to clean, um... The floors, the counters a little bit. I feel like all I do is clean and then I'm gonna go upstairs, shower, get ready, and then go um, organize my closet until he gets here. All right, I just swept and swiffered the floors. I need to get rid of that stuff. I can actually, oh my gosh, it's gonna be so nice for random stuff because like I'll put the sprites in the den because like I don't drink soda really anyways, except for, you know, that one. When did, actually, I think I had a few. I had a little uh, cracking point in quarantine, but I'm gonna have like storage for this stuff, especially when this, guys, when this pantry finally gets done, oh my gosh, it's supposed to be delivered at the end of the month, so we have like two weeks, I think, but 
Oh my gosh, that's gonna change my life. Also, okay, this is the LED projector I got. Um, a lot of you guys recommended it to me on Amazon. I'll have it linked down below. It's like only $100 and it was really great. So this is what I'm gonna use downstairs. I also ordered um, a projector screen that was also $100. I'll just have it linked down below. That's not coming until later. And then like a gym mat and stuff. So I have some stuff that's kind of ready almost for um the den really quickly we're gonna do a haul this is what i'm gonna wear today actually so kill it eyes is so freaking sweet she sent me another set you guys know that i love these it's like a sophie set with a crew and this is like neutral and i love that because i love color but i'm just more of a neutral girl so yeah i think this is so cute i'm gonna wear it today and then finally my order from airy came okay so i got that top that i was wearing it's legit right there um in gray as well which i'm so glad because i love it i really think everyone should just buy these i think they're still on sale but get an xl and it wears as like a dress it's also just so good for like summer nights wearing it over a swimsuit like i know it's a long sleeve but it's just so good for summer so i love that i got this because it was super super on sale i don't know how much i'm gonna love it just because i feel like i don't know this is gonna be the equivalent of like the leopard silk skirts that midi skirts that everyone had i got this neon swimsuit with high-waisted bottoms which is what i love in neon green i got a neon pink um i love having like also bright swimsuits because it makes you look tanner then i got the same swimsuit almost in just a black i love tops like this i'm afraid that my boobs are definitely gonna be too big for that though which kind of frustrates me i hate that that stuff happens and then i got the same thing in white but i love that style like absolutely love that style so anyways these were so cheap i got each bathing suit for like 35 dollars. so i'll have all of them linked down below because i think they're definitely like freaking worth it i'm actually going to post them right now to my like to know it because i just think that they're so freaking cute all right so i just cleaned off my bathroom sink which felt amazing um i need to get a towel like a towel rack or holders i don't know guys because i don't really want them in the back of my videos either so i need to figure that out i also just like love this window on top of my um bathtub but anyways my closet is a mess it hasn't really bothered me because um honestly normally i'm an absolute freak about keeping my closet clean but like i haven't worn normal clothes in two months so it just hasn't bothered me these are just things that need to be hung up but i'm gonna fix this i'm not even gonna go through it because i don't feel like i really have stuff to get rid of yet um but yeah definitely i mean this is only gonna take me 20 minutes but it'll make me feel better and my shoes are just like a little bit unorganized all right guys so it looks so much better i just added random shoes like boots and stuff my new white docks love um this stuff isn't extremely organized it's for the most part color coordinated and this is it's just a lot we're gonna have to make like a cloak cloak a coat closet downstairs but um yeah it definitely just like looks a lot better <laughs> Guys, this is just the best breakfast ever. Um, there's almond butter under there. I've made it every morning this week, but it's so good. Also, the fact that this is so light really just makes me, you know, it's not my vibe. But guys, that chameleon coffee, like cold brew specifically, like I said, wow, it's really a lot. All right, guys, so we're prepping today, sealing tomorrow. Cannot wait. This is the before, really gross. Just wait, guys. I'm so excited. This is going to be the gym. That's going to be the little area. Projector right there. Guys, I actually cannot make this up. So I... Hold on. I think this... No, the setting's right. Okay, so my stepdad basically kicked me out of my garage. I was, like, trying to help him. He was like, yeah, so, like, I have AirPods. And, like, I, you have to wear, like, a certain shoe. So I've been kicked out of the garage. But I called tk the tiktok queen i decided that i obviously i needed you know advice on my other transformation but i ended up making a rooftop when i salvaged it so guys wow great okay so that's all i want how do i tell them that so i'm about to post one it's kenzie elizabeth hay it's a rooftop transformation it's actually really cool i got advice from the tiktok queen herself tk so guys it happened i did it i just posted my first like real real tiktok feeling good about myself might even learn to dance but um i actually need to read in about an hour i'm going on um ig live with janine she's doing um this thing where she's like reading through proverbs and she has guests and stuff so i'm the guest today so i'm gonna read that chapter see what i want to do maybe even learn a tiktok dance before only really easy ones i know it takes a lot of time but there is one that i think that i already kind of know okay guys here i am with my propeller on my head 
Um, my misguided package finally came in. Underwhelming package because I'm not obsessed with the stuff that I got, which I normally am. Uh, I feel like I'm missing a box. Also, my new Shinola came in, except for this time, I got grid. Really branching out. So, a lot of you guys told me for tanning, um, like actually tanning outside, I needed to get Maui Babe. So, it kind of exploded in the package. I got it on Ulta. I'll have it linked down below. I got the amazing Maui Babe browning lotion. I know it was at least sold out on Amazon. So, apparently this stuff is amazing. Then we have the after tan browning lotion. So, this is a local secret. It's a tan enhancer and healer. And then this is just the amazing Maui Babe um, body butter, which I wanted to try out because I've heard so many good things. And I wanted to try them out because I know there's a lot of you guys who also have problems tanning. Um, I'll quickly show you guys a little bit of a haul from Miss Gaiden. I got this dress, which I thought would be super cute to just wear this with sneakers. And then, oh, even like my Louis sneakers, like an oversized leather jacket. If I ever leave at night this summer, um, I also got this dress. I, I like these. I actually do like a lot of the stuff in it, but I got this like really long, pretty wrap dress. I just thought it was super cute and it's really light. I just realized that like I really don't have anything to wear this summer at all. Um, I got tanks. These look US 6. Why? I just always get a size up when I shouldn't. But I just got a tank top like this. This dress, which I probably should have gotten a size down. I need a steamer. I got a US 6 and I should have gotten a 4, but it's also like supposed to be loose so I think it'll be fine, but I wanted to wear this with white sneakers and dress it down or even like I can wear my white docks or whatever. I just need things that are light because it gets hot here. Then I got just this bodysuit which I thought would be really easy to just wear with like jeans, call it a day. I actually like this with jeans. Um, my white docks, hoops, hair back, that's it. Got the same tank top in black. I live in misguided tank tops. Then I got this just like lounge thing, like pajamas basically. So these shorts and then this gray top that is definitely not gonna be big enough for my boobs, but it is what it is, people. Okay, I got this and I realized, I don't think I would have ordered it if I realized it was a three quarter length sleeve. I never wear that, but maybe this summer, I don't know. I'm gonna keep it because I got it in white and black and it's just such a basic i feel like it'll be good to have i don't know maybe i'll change my mind okay i got this dress with the idea of like dressing down cute dresses with white sneakers what i want to live in this summer and i like liked it a lot on mine it's cute and i think i will like it but i'm not obsessed with it then i got this because i thought this would be cute so it's like so random um i say that as i'm wearing tie-dye but like this is like bright and like i don't know i wouldn't normally get it but i got this white tank just to have another one i just got a white crop top i always grab these on misguided because i always stain them and ruin them so quickly but they're like six dollars and then last thing was just this little black one the same one that i showed you guys before so i love misguided that's not my favorite order i've picked up from them honestly probably my order from nashville those are some good things, but majority of my closet right now, honestly, is from Misguided. Anyways, I need to clean off the Maui Babe stuff. I'm really excited to try this, though. I've heard such amazing things. It's supposed to rain all weekend, so we'll see. Okay, making some tea. That's pretty much done now. Um, I've been trying to just drink tea instead of, like, more coffee, watching Michelle's new video, and then I'm getting my stuff set up because in eight minutes, I'm going on live. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh! Guys, I am so tired. I stayed up too late reading and editing and like I finished um, I'm literally making coffee before I run. I never do like normally Yeah, I don't normally do that. Um, okay I actually have dishes on my sink and I like never have dishes on my sink ever and I got like really inspired I finished and yeah, I finished it It was actually really good. The reviews on Amazon are horrible but i actually liked it and like people who dm'd me about the book really liked it too why does this have to be so loud i think i'm gonna make an apple i think i'm getting fruit flies or something <laughs> um anyways today's day three of running so i need to really get a pep in my step oh you know what i got this ice roller on amazon oh wow i got it yesterday i'll link it below for you guys but like wow i just put sunscreen on so like I feel like my face is really puffy because I'm really tired. I don't really want to do this like that much because I need to eat my apple. Anyways, um, I'm going to stop this for now, but... Okay, so today I'm on two people's podcast. I'm supposed to finish some stuff and then... Um, oh yeah, my 
my um, garage floor is being finished. I don't think that um, he'll let me help either. This week has been pretty consistent and that I've been up working out, doing like my morning routine, morning greeting, stuff like that. Just getting some stuff done. I am, I am feeling a little bit more inspired than I have lately, but like not gonna lie. Like I think yesterday afternoon and the afternoon before that, I was just in such a like weird mood. I feel like I was thriving in quarantine for so long and then finally I'm like, Okay, I'm losing my mind. I finished my workout, showered, got ready. Now I just wanna go back to bed. Um, I'm wearing my like airy gray thing. I have um, biker shorts on underneath, but I'm gonna go downstairs, do my Devo, make some breakfast. I'm so tired. So this is the garage floor. Um, that concrete is just like not great. So like there was nothing we could really do about that, but it's fine because there's gonna be a rug over that where um, like my couch and stuff goes for the projector over there. This is gonna be the gym part and there's gonna be a mat over that anyway. So it's like not the biggest deal in the world, but I can't stand on this for like at least 24 hours, probably through the weekend, but it looks so much better. Oh my gosh. All right, I just showered. I was on two podcasts and I've just been working and editing. Um, my groceries came in. It's really freaking hot in here. My groceries came in, so I'm gonna put those away and then I think I'm probably gonna cook and just like chill for the rest of the day. This vlog is already like almost an hour long. So let me know if you guys like vlogs this long or if you guys want them like split up and stuff. But love you guys so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.